Hi Gemini. I will be doing an intuitive six card spread for you for the month of January. And we'll see what messages are popping up for you for this month. Happy New Year. And we'll get straight into it. Okay, so first from the top left, we have the Six of Pentacles. And the Six of Pentacles obviously has something to do with your finances. Now, charity is coming up quite strongly, so I'm not sure if you're joining a charity uh, this month. If you're donating to charities or you have over the Christmas period, this could certainly be it. That's coming up quite strongly here. But the Six of Pentacles could also be you asking for funds uh, for the from the bank or from a relative. It could also mean you giving funds away. So this could be people asking for money from you. And I feel as though you might not be in the best position to do so. I feel as though you might be saving for something for later this year. Something big that you've been uh, meaning to do or meaning to invest in. So I'm tempted to say, unless, this per unless you know this person very well and you're confident in lending money to them, I would probably caution against this. And just, uh, just because you're here with the... Uh, the seven of pentacles uh, looking at your finances yourself and you sort of not discontent but you're sort of unsure about the finances that you have at hand here in January so this could certainly come up but I feel it's a quite a disorienting month January I don't feel it's the strongest month that you're starting out on for this year but I feel it will pick up later in the year because with the page of swords over here this is someone, this is you as an air sign, this is you lacking a bit of direction and there's a lot of opportunity that might be present around you but you're sort of not knowing where it is you'd like to point your sword and you you, you have your best foot forward here but you're sort of unsure, there's, there's doubt, there's despair, there's a bit of hesitation, you're not wanting to tackle something, it's as I mentioned it's a bit of a disorienting month, there's a lot going on around you and it could be to do with your finances, there's a bit of anxiety here which is also indicated by the moon card and the six of pentacles, the seven of pentacles and the five of pentacles but there is light at the end of the tunnel which is indicated by the magician card down here but back to this page of swords, but this is regarding your career I feel as though there's, you lack direction in your career and this may be the year where you look for something else, something that might offer you a more rewarding salary. It could be that you're looking at this, your current salary and you're not being happy with it. You're not content with the money you're receiving from your work, your remuneration. You feel as though you're worth more. You feel as though you deserve more money, more commissions if you work in a role that provides commissions. That could certainly be it because... The Page of Swords indicates this lack of direction and happiness and it's just, it's a very uh, overwhelming, restless energy here with the Page of Swords and this could also be in your love life. If it is in your love life, I feel as though you're not really sure the direction you're going with, with your partner and your relationship. I feel you're not as confident as you are in the relationship around this time at the beginning of the year. <clears throat> It could also mean that your partner maybe has his own things going on or her things own, her own things going on and in turn it causes you to be quite anxiety ridden, ridden which does and can happen for the Gemini or any air signs in general. Uh, you're very in your head and you're quite analytical in that sense and you're constantly uh, analysing things and this could be that you're analysing the relationship more than usual and it's causing you a bit of anxiety this this month. But moving on, we have the moon card, and the moon card is this anxiety I was talking about because the moon is a bit of anxiety. It can also indicate creativity. Uh, there's a lot of pets in these cards. I, I feel as though there could be intuition coming into play here because with the moon, I feel as though it's been revered in so many ancient societies such as the Celts and other pagans where it's 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 a it's a goddess, it's a god, uh, especially in the ancient. Egyptian religion, it's, you know, we think of the god of Thoth, of the moon. <clears throat> so I feel as though there's something to do with pets. There's a bit of intuition here. Maybe that your pets are more intuitive this month. If you have any, you may be buying a new pet this month. It could be something to do with you. You may get anxiety over a pet. This could be uh, a pet becomes quite ill and you have to take them to the vet and you're looking at your finances and it's just... It's overwhelmed you in a way this month, and so I would advise you that you look after your pets. But this moon can 
symbolize this anxiety to do with money and lack of direction I'm sensing and it could very well have to do in work or love this could be that you and your partner may take some sort of break uh, or you have some sort of confrontation regarding finances regarding joint finances so that's possible this month in January so again I would advise you to make sure you look at your finances because something to do with lending money it could be that you're lending money to a partner here and you're just unsure they may they may have an addiction, they may have something that you're unsure as to why they need the money, so you're hesitant to give them that money. And there's obviously a reason for that, and it's causing you anxiety. It's indicated by the moon card. But moving on, we have the Seven of Pentacles, and this is you looking at your finances down here. This is you looking at your savings. This is you possibly assessing your finances, reassessing. Someone has asked you for money, and you're looking at whether you're in a position to do so. As I said, you need to make sure that this person is someone you can trust and someone that's near and dear to you, someone that you know will pay you back, etc. Because there's hesitance here regarding lending finances. And as I said, I would caution you against this unless you are absolutely sure you can trust this person. Because I don't feel as though you're in the perfect position to be lending finances around this time of the year, maybe perhaps later. But not right now, and if you do, I feel as though it will cause you quite a bit of anxiety and you might just feel overwhelmed because you've lent them this, this amount of money. But again, you could be saving towards something. I feel as though you're saving a lot of funds for something that's going to happen later this year. And it could have something to do with a charity because the charity is indicated by the Six of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles down here. I feel as though you're helping people who are ill, you're helping people who are, are, are destitute, you're helping people who n need this guidance, need the support, need the help. I feel as though you're in a position to do that and it, that will be quite rewarding for you this year. I don't feel as though it's happening in January, it could happen later in the year, but I feel as though you're working towards it now and you're saving in some way. It could be a charity event that you're attending or a trip that you're attending or... Mm, a fundraiser that you might be attending and you're sort of preparing your finances for that that's coming through quite strongly but this the back to the seven of pentacles this could also indicate that you're looking at your finances and this could be with you and in, in your work situation again you're unhappy with the remuneration you're receiving at work but this could also indicate that you and your partner are both looking at finances at joint finances together and you're looking to join them if you haven't already or perhaps you're looking to purchase a home or together start a charity or start some sort of business because we do have the magician card. So this could be uh, looking at funds to put together into a creative pursuit. You could be venture capitalists and you decide to put money into invest money into businesses and watch them thrive and, you know, gain the profits from that. That could certainly be it. <clears throat> but there's not, not a sadness, but there's a bit of... Uh, there's sort of an anxious, overwhelming feeling regarding money in January with a partner or alone. But again, charity is coming through quite strongly, or you may be visiting churches, you may be visiting loved ones in hospital, that could be it, certainly. But again, I feel it's more to do with money and charity, looking at your finances. I feel as though someone around you could be ill and not working because of a sickness or a, uh, a disability of some sort and they may they may ask you for money, for funds to help support them while they're not working. But again, this could be you that gets quite ill and if it's in a love situation, it could be your partner that gets quite ill. If it's regarding work, I feel as though there could be some sort of work compensation case around you. Uh, it might not be you, it could be somebody around you under, under an earth sign. You may be dealing with an earth sign that does get quite ill and does need some money from you or needs some help, needs some assistance from you, but there's someone that's quite ill around you here, uh, Gemini. But moving on, we have the Magician, and the Magician is a beautiful card. It's great energy. It's nice to see that it's at the end of the reading. There's always light at the end of the tunnel. And with the Magician, uh, this is a new star. He's number one. He's first in the deck. He's got flowers. He's got his cups, his pentacles, his wands, his swords. He's someone or she's someone who knows what they want. So I feel as though, Magician, this is the perfect month for you to manifest what it is that you're wanting. You need to start implementing the practical steps if you want to move forward towards this charity event or 
you know, if you're looking to make more money this year, you need to start implementing the practical steps because I feel as though maybe February onwards, you will start to see uh, things, you will start to take the practical steps because this is the month where you're getting ready to do those things. The Magician card in love could indicate a new start. This could be a new partner under an earth sign that's coming to you. Again, I feel as though it might not happen in January. It could happen later in the year. But the Magician regarding work is someone who potentially lands a new job or is looking for a new job. I feel as though there could be something more autonomous out there for you, Gemini, and I feel as though you'd really thrive in a role like that. If you're looking to start a charity or get involved in charities or donate money, this is the perfect time to do so uh, because you do have the magician, so you may be taking, uh, writing down a business plan or starting a creative pursuit. Again, I would advise you just not to get overwhelmed and make sure you do your meditations or whatever it is, you know, donate, uh, be active, take your pets out, Otherwise, you will get very overwhelmed with the Page of Swords. But this magician, uh, most certainly in love, could indicate a new partner, somebody new coming in, uh, a new friendship perhaps. And it could be under any sign here because he he is and he has everything in his repertoire. But if this is a new relationship that's coming in for you, I feel as though this person is very balanced, very established, has goals, has direction, is hardworking. But I feel it's more to do with career in January. Love isn't coming to, coming through quite strongly. So I feel as though it is, it is more of career. And there's something autonomous that you're starting. You might be getting a new role, a new job. But something that you're doing that's going to be brand new. It could be just a brand new way of looking at things. That's certainly possible. But we'll have a look and see what this situation is regarding finances and what's needed from you required with this financial situation here, this lending of money. Okay, so we have happiness. Here we have the Priestess of Happiness, and that's an absolutely beautiful card. I feel as though something is coming to a completion with all the circles here. This is creation, manifestation, happiness, feeling one. And I almost want to say that whatever this money is, perhaps you lending money will bring you the happiness that you so need. But I feel it's more with a charity event. And this is the perfect year for you to go ahead and do that, Gemini. And this for you would be extremely rewarding, definitely. Mentally, it will be, bring you just so much happiness, so much joy seeing other people. But there's, there's no reason to feel overwhelmed because you do have happiness and that overrides the Page of Swords. This anxiety with the moon also. So there's happiness around you here in January regarding this finance situation. Could be regarding work, a creative pursuit. But let's see what's going on in your love situation. It hasn't come up quite strongly in January, but again, it could have something to do with joint finances. So We'll have a look. So we have the Priestess of Divination. And that's an absolutely beautiful card. This says to me that love is divine this month for you. It's, it's what you're hoping, wishing. You're with the correct partner. They will be guiding you. There's something that will happen this month in January that will tell you a lot about your partner, I'm sensing. It could be very well to do with this this. Perhaps they become run down or you become run down and you see their true character, how they will act towards you and look after you. That could certainly be it. But something divine will happen. I feel as though the, the gates of heaven will open up and you'll see something. You'll, you'll feel enlightened in a way. So that's something to watch. Always watch out for the signs this month of what's going on with you and your partner. But I hope you have a lovely month, Gemini.